Hi guys, this is me Osama Gaza. Welcome to my channel and in today's video I'll be showing you how to create this cool reveal through transition, reveal through drawing transition. Um, it's a very famous transition actually used by many YouTubers but of course the most famous YouTuber who ever used it, someone called uh, Sam Calder, if you guys are familiar with him. Um, yeah so let's see how we can do this uh but before we start guys just letting you know that uh this transition is a combination between using the zoom transition and the luma key transition uh so if you're not familiar with those i'll make sure to leave the link to those down in the description so you can go to my channel and watch them just get familiar with that then getting back again to this video and know how to come up with this uh cool transition it's really important just to understand the basics of the zoom and the luma key transition before getting in depth into this review through uh, drawing transition. I'll be using these two transitions a lot in this video, uh, but um, I will be just focusing on walking you through the steps of how to uh, do it properly instead of focusing on how to explain uh, the zoom and the luma key transitions. All right, so uh, first of all, excuse the quality, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, use whatever elements I can find to show you the idea behind this transition and walk you through the steps, as I said before. But I'm gonna give you a few tips uh, by the end of this video on how to optimize this transition and get the most out of it. All right, so as you guys can see here, I have two uh, clips. The first one is actually, as you can see, uh, just a frame picture uh, for the pyramids and the second one is uh, a real footage uh, for the Great Pyramids in Egypt. And the first step here is going to be overlapping these two clips uh, as we always do and we overlap these clips because this is the space or this is actually going to be the area where we're going to apply the, um, the whole transition onto. Alright, now the second step to apply this transition is by creating a copy from this footage, the um, the second clip we have here, and set it above the first clip uh, or the frame picture we have uh, for the pyramids. Okay, um, then you will have to trim this new copy and just keep the part where you want the Luma key transition to last for. And for the sake of this tutorial, I want the Luma key transition to last uh, during this part. So I will just trim this clip and get rid of this remaining part over here. All right, the following step is going to be adjusting the size of this clip, the copy we created from the second clip, our pyramids footage over here. Um, but the problem is if we just try to reduce the scale, as you guys can see, the clip maintains the same aspect ratios for the width and height and and this is a problem because we want to fit it within the frame picture uh, we have in here so to do that we can uncheck the uniform scale box over here and that will let us control the height and the width separately all right so we can just uh, reduce this a little bit and drag it to the left and here we go as you guys can see, now it fits within the frame picture and all ready for the Luma key transition. All right, the next step now is to apply the Luma key transition on this uh, clip we have here. And to do this, we can search for Luma key in effects panel, as you guys can see, and you can find it under keying in video effects. Drag it and drop it onto this copy we created. Then drag the cursor to the start of this copy and set the threshold value at 100 and create a keyframe then the cutoff value at 102 and the reason we do this is because we want this clip uh, the second copy we created we want it to be hidden in the beginning then we want it to be gradually appearing until we go to the second clip which is our original copy all right, so now what we have to do is drag in this cursor all the way to the end of the copy we created and create the second keyframes by changing this value all the way down to zero and the cutoff to zero too. Let's see what will happen here, guys. Sequence, render into out. Here it goes. That's what we're trying to do since the very beginning, guys. 
we wanted it to gradually appearing before transitioning to the second clip which is our original footage the pyramids all right and uh, how how are we gonna finish this transition we're gonna use the zoom in transition as I mentioned in the beginning of this video and to create the zoom in transition we have to create new adjustment layers and to create adjustment layers as I said many times before you can just go to this little button over here click it choose adjustment layers and it goes on the top here by default all right drag it and drop it onto your sequence like just all the way up and let's trim it from this part delete and now we're going to create another adjustment layer and set it below this one drag it to the middle point and this second adjustment layer is where we're going to apply the replicate effect let's search it replicate drag it and drop it here then the upper adjustment layer is what we're going to use to apply the transform effect All right let's render that and see how it's going to work and here we go that's what we're trying to do guys all right so let's check that out again from the beginning guys drag the cursor and hit space all right looking pretty good already okay uh there are a few more steps we can do to fine-tune this transition and make it look cooler guys and the first thing is by applying the lens distortion transition as i explained in my latest two videos and to do that we can just um drag another adjustment layer set it on top in here and trim it delete this part and search for something called lens distortion and you can find it here under distort drag it and drop it onto the adjustment layer create the middle keyframe let's set it to minus 80 because we want it to warp forwards and set a keyframe as you guys can see go like five keyframes before set it back to normal and five keyframes forward and set it back to normal again and that's it let's check it and here you go and of course you guys can always highlight your keyframes right click it choose bezier and go to the velocity curve here and just play around a little bit with these sliders uh, so that you can customize your transition even more and make it look cooler and as I said I explained it in details in my latest videos all right and now as we already applied our transition and we are pretty much done with it uh, and we also applied the lens distortion to tweak it up a little bit we can even fine-tune it a little more by uh, using the split channel transition and here it goes guys I nested everything we did into this uh, that was one clip and I just uh, trimmed it into three separate clips because I wanted to uh, deal with this one on its own because that's how I'm going to create three more copies and apply the uh, set channel transition so if we guys can take a look on that here we go all right guys so that was everything about the reveal through drawing transition as you can see it's a combination of too many other transitions uh, so I'll make sure to leave the links down below in the descriptions the link uh, for the zoom transition luma key transition split channel and lens distortion uh, just first of all try to focus on the basics on how to organize the sequence and uh, get the actual reveal through drawing transition done then you can start tweaking it up and fine-tuning uh, this transition the way you want all right so that was everything for today and uh, there is one more thing I'm really sorry that I did not upload another video uh, last Wednesday but I was actually traveling from Egypt to Canada um, and it took me some time just to get settled uh, I'll try to upload two more videos uh, this week I'll really try to do this um, and one of them is going to be a Photoshop tutorial because some people DM me on Instagram and ask me how I compose it my uh, designs and all that so I will try to uh, upload another uh, playlist on my channel and it's gonna be for uh, Photoshop okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and follow me on Instagram for my latest designs and videos 
I really hope you like this video and I hope that it was as easy as possible. I try to stay straightforward. Um, so hopefully you guys liked it. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.